that if we had had this when we were juniors in high school, our lives would be even better than they are. We have worked this out, we've looked at the best people in the world, and we've reduced it to something that's simple to look at, simple to understand, that will affect your life if you get it. Can you pronounce that title? Fat ass. Fat ass will turn out to be a very important concept for your life. Fat ass, right. Well, I know, I know what it sounds like. That's why you're going to remember it. <laughs> now, anybody want to guess what the letters of fat ass stand for? This is an acronym. First five letters of five very important words. You got one? Failure is one word. Let's make that the first one. Failure and difficulty. Failure and difficulty. Accelerate. Accelerate would be a very good choice. We should have oh, yeah. <laughs> Accelerate would be a good choice. That's not the one we chose. Failure and difficulty. Achievement. Adventure. All right. You're not going to get it because I didn't set it up well enough out front, but you're very close. Failure and difficulty. I like Accelerate, but I like ours too, so pay attention to ours. Failure and difficulty. Failure and difficulty are only information that tells you what you have to work on to improve. The failures that you have tell you what you don't know. And that's why they're so important for you. Failure and difficulty are feedback. That happens. So what is feedback? Feedback is information based on careful analysis of performance data, that is, your grades or your scores or the comments you get back from your teacher. Information that tells you what you did well, what your weaknesses were, and most important, what you must work on to improve. What did I do well here? What do I really not get yet? What must I work on to improve? What do I have to do to get better? Every D or C or anything less than an A you ever got, all the information you need to know what you have to work on to improve is right on that paper. And what a lot of you have been doing is looking at the grade because it hurts you emotionally. Treasure each one of those C's and D's that you get. Okay? Get, do the best you can in the first couple of weeks. And when you take those midterms and you get your butt kicked, that's when you get busy. That's when you get serious. You will fat out those difficulties and you will use them to accelerate your development. You will be very good at that by the time you get to college. You know why you're going to be so good at that by the time you get to college? Why? Because you worked on it. Because you started now. All right, here's an efficacy principle. This is the kind of thing that if you take it in, really internalize it, it can affect the rest of your life in a positive way. So get ready. Here it is. You must learn to trust that your effective effort will make the difference for you, even in very challenging situations, and especially after you've had a failure or real difficulty at something. If you believe that that's true, that your effective effort can get you over the top, that will be the basis of your determination to learn anything that's important even after you've had difficulty trying to learn it. Understand that failure can no longer hurt you. It can't hurt your feelings. It can't hurt your development. In fact, it will accelerate your development. All you've got to do is fat out your failures and you will be free. You've got people in your lives that you know who are not free. They've been hurt so badly by failure and they don't have the right way to think about it. The screw is turned in the wrong position. So they'll tell you all the things they can't do. I can't do this. They'll tell you what you can't do. You can't do that. You can't do this. Those people are not free. If you get to this, 
you will be free. And you go through life free to do whatever you darn well please. Yes. Yes. I'm talking about academic stuff, and I'm talking about general. And I can tell you stories. Okay? All, the, all the adults in here can tell you stories. We are the people we are because of the pattern of the things that we refused to take no for an answer and we came back and kept going versus some other things where things went bad before us and we decided we couldn't do that. If you understand this starting now, you will have no areas of your life where you feel weak and unable. Because you prove to yourself you can do any, give you a mile, you can do any damn thing you want. If I want to learn it, I can. Well, that, that's being free. 